Welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today I'll be reading Sensory Ninja by Mary Nin. Hi, I'm Sensory Ninja. I have a very unique superpower. It's called SPD, and it stands for Sensory Processing Disorder. Sensory processing disorder is a condition that affects how my brain processes sensory information. Sensory information includes visual, which is your sight, olfactory, which is your smell, vestibular, is your balance, tactile, touch, auditory, sound, interoception, internal awareness, proprioception, body awareness, gustatory, taste. It's important for me to touch different textures, like when I rub the silky part of my blanket at night, it helps to soothe me. It feels good to have gentle squeezes, be massaged, or have brush therapy performed on me. Sometimes I struggle with body awareness and can have a hard time understanding personal space. Other times, I am sensitive to touch. While I get goosebumps with an accidental bump or brush, I may not notice smaller things like hairs brushing the side of my face. Certain fabrics really bother me. Even though I'm picky about my clothes, I don't notice when they're on backwards or out of place. I feel especially uncomfortable when someone brushes my hair, plays with my back, or hugs me. When it comes to taste, I think some foods taste extra weak, while others are very intense. When I have trouble with my internal awareness, I may not know when I'm full or hungry, hot or cold. I also struggle with my balance, so you may see me in constant motion and knock into things to feel more anchored. But it's not just touch, taste, internal awareness, and balance that affect me. It can be noises, like screechy sounds and loud fireworks that go boom. Not all noises bother me, though. I like to hum, chew gum, and sometimes talk loudly. My sight is also affected by SPD. I don't like bright lights at all because it gives me a headache. I'm very sensitive to smells. Certain smells can be so overwhelming that it overtakes all of my other senses. I can smell a bad smell 10 times more than an average person. That's how I experience things. In the past, when I had a bad reaction to one of my senses, I'd get irritable and restless, or even worse, I'd freeze or shut down. One day, Calm Ninja introduced me to something called a sensory diet. It helps me meet my sensory needs, but it also helps me find my center when I'm triggered. Now, when I have a trigger, I know I have several different solutions to choose from. Here are some of my favorites. Swinging in my cuddle swing, breathing in fresh air, using noise canceling headphones, closing my eyes and picturing my favorite place in the world. Eating something crunchy, Planning my activities in advance so there's hardly ever a surprise. Discovering new textures and sensory bins. Bouncing on my yoga ball while I'm doing schoolwork. Jumping on a small trampoline. Doing yoga. Listening to calming music while playing with my fidget toys. Soaking in a bath. Remembering the sensory diet could be your greatest weapon in meeting sensory needs and improving your daily performance, too. Continue the learning with our fun lesson plans, which include superpower skills practice.
STEM activity, craft, and more. Sensory diets are a strategy to address sensory needs. In 1984, Patricia Wolberger coined the term sensory diet to explain how certain sensory experiences can help a person's performance and help to remedy the disruption of their own sensory processing systems. A sensory diet is a way to adjust sensory input relative to an individual's needs. Sensory diet graph. Practice yoga or exercise. Eat foods with texture or crunchy. Wrap myself in a blanket burrito. Cuddle swing. Listen to calming music. Use a fidget toy while being read to or listening. Go swimming or soak in a bath. Jump on a trampoline. Bounce on a yoga ball. Sit in a wobble chair. Wear a weighted vest. Swing or play in the park. Play with sensory bins. Thank you so much for joining me today on Storytime with Lynn. Reading Sensory Ninja by Mary Nin.